Are there any other peptides? And I'm talking like specifically for cognition. We talk a lot about, you know, mental health, cognition, um, you know, memory enhancement, focus, things like that, that are good for, uh, I'm sorry, that are good peptides for cognition, but might also have some, you know, pleiotropic effects in other parts of the body. Yeah, a lot of them do. And I kind of break it down into um, healthy brain relatively. And you're just looking for that added boost. Like, I mean, executive entrepreneurs are trying to go from like an eight to an 11 versus unfortunately somebody who's dealing with um, a chronic illness like Lyme or mold or something like that, because the, the peptide sacs are a little bit different. Um, so in terms of the healthy person, um, you definitely get BBC is great for the brain. Um, you get into products like uh, C-Max and c -Lank. especially C-Max is good. It's a mild, it's not a, what I, I um, a sledgehammer, I call like the really strong ones, but it's definitely could be helpful. Um, uh, C-Max can help to some degree. Some ones that we, um, C-Max and C-Lank are more specific for brain and anxiety. Well, BBC again is pretty much has like a page of uses it can have besides gut health and inflammation. It boosts nitric oxide, it boosts growth hormone. So it's good for after working out. It can help with um, increase boost serotonin. So it can help with mood. Um, so it does all, it helps heal stomach ulcers. It does all those things. It, um, GHK copper has um, some small studies and showing that may help with um, brain health. In a lot of anecdotal cases, it's also GHK is used for skin. It's also used, again, for inflammation and tendon repair. Um, the melanotans, melanotan 1 and 2, the, the Barbie or the tanning peptides, have some evidence in terms of brain health. Um, you have to understand the side effects may be that you get a tan, like for those people who are old enough. Looks, you can look like the, the woman from There's Something About There's Something About Mary, but they do have some brain power as well. Um, again, there's a peptide out there called cerebralicin, which is in and out in terms of the United States of how easy it is to get. That's incredibly helpful and has probably the most studies in terms of brain health. It's just incredibly hard to get. Um, so that's a start. I mean, then you get, again, methylene blue is not a true peptide. NED is not a true peptide, but they're usually now becoming part of those, of, of the stack.